hello and welcome to one more video of box info today we are going to talk about the apple's new m1 silicon chip before i start this video isn't a recommendation to buy any of apple product in fact i am a windows user i use windows desktop to edit my video the following video is a simple reaction of my what i see is the biggest moment in the company history in the last decade not everyone hates apple products these days in india but recently they have increased their prices of all their products and accessories and it's a little hard for a common man to purchase that product and take a use of it but apple actually did push the industry forward for more competition by its new m1 silicon chip nowadays our phones are getting faster than before all because of that arm based technology if you want i will make a one more video of that simple arm based technology it's a very interesting subject let me know in the description please so what happens if we put arm based technology in our laptop and desktop it will be more efficient and it will use less power to run it will use less space for the processor and will have more space for the battery in result you will get more battery life and a higher performance machine putting a mobile chip in the best selling computer seems really stupid but when you look deeper it makes whole lot of sense apple is making chip for more than a decade We have seen it in the new iPhones, iPad, Apple Watches, and now it is going to be in the new MacBook lineup. So, what is M1? Let's see its features. M1 is the first system on chip or SoC for the Mac lineup. Until now, a Mac needed multiple chip to deliver its all features. It had chip for processor, I/O, security, and memory. Now with M1 these technology are combined into a single SoC for the best performance. M1 also features unified memory architecture or UMA. It means high bandwidth low latency into a single package. By this chip all of the technology in SoC can access the same data without copying into multiple memory. and this will improve the performance and power efficiency of the system and it's built on 5 nanometer process technology and it has a 16 billion transistors m1 cpu features two type of cores high performance and high efficiency m1 has four performance core for multiple thread workloads to handle lighter workloads more efficiently M1 has four efficiency cores. Altogether, it's a eight-core CPU, and M1 has eight core of GPU. It is capable enough of executing nearly twenty-five thousand threads at a time. M1 is more than just a fast CPU and GPU. It is a custom pack of technology. M1 has sixteen-core neural engine. capable enough of executing 11 trillion operations per second and it has thunderbolt and usb 4 m1 is by far the best chip created by apple and with the new m1 chip you can run iphone and ipad app directly on the mac so should you buy the new m1 based macbook lineup See if you are a currently MacBook user I don't recommend you to go and buy the next M1 based MacBook or MacBook Air not because these are not the best laptop M1 based systems are the by far best system provided by the Apple these laptop are very fast and the battery backup on this is very good so if you are willing to buy the your first laptop go for it you will be very happy with this laptops For those who are interested in the benchmarks, I'm going to leave the benchmarks in the end of the video, so do watch it. So this was my talk on the new Apple Silicon chip M1. If you like this information, do like my video 
and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon for more notification whenever I post my video. Thank you for watching. Jai Hind.